Hello and welcome to Arca at Auto Club. We are here today on Monday night, just as the week switches over. So the uh, exciting Monday night slot here, where we've got a huge strength of field, 4.7k. And uh, I am the 11 car. Really cool stuff. Big fan of that. Um, but uh, it's going to be a big challenge too. I actually really like this combo though. I've raced it before, the Arca car here at Auto Club. And it's always some good fun. You can actually run the top, which is one of my favorite things to do. And I think the way to be... I think what I'm going to do here is probably run the high side both sides of the first lap. Pretty grippy, because we are doing a night race, so you get a little bit more grip than you might expect. But what I'm going to do here is, even though I think maybe the low line might be a little bit faster in 3 and 4 when coming, uh, when doing a hot lap, I'm going to at least get a run to the line. So that way there's a chance for the second lap to be good too, because it almost feels like the second lap could be better once the tires are up to temp. So there might be something to really focusing on lap number number two here. Yeah, look at that. I feel like it's gripping better. So as of right now, it looks like everybody's kind of going easy the first lap. I'm probably a big fool <laughs> for doing that, for pushing so hard lap one. Ah, I don't even feel like that worked. I feel like uh, running low line did not work out so well there. I don't think I did it very well. Tiny bit faster, but it looks like mostly everybody really focused on the second lap. So maybe I should have taken it easy lap one. But uh, P4 is not terrible still. Um, we'll probably drop a couple more. We've got a lot of the same familiar faces. Um, Justin Yi up in pole right now. Or whole tenth off. Uh, my best in practice was seven six eight. So had I pulled that off, I'd be one spot up. But not always so easy to just pull that out of your hat. And I think we did okay. P four. I will definitely take it. We'll see uh, how much more we drop, but I don't think it should be too much more. I think during the race, though, low line might be your friend. Though I'm not sure. I haven't really done a long run yet. I think you'll want to, like, bring it down here, maybe. Maybe even use that seam. I'm not sure. I know Justin, um, Justin Yee up there, I know he does, like, practice before the week, because he does his, like, guide videos and stuff. So I know he's already done plenty of like practice with this combo probably and probably knows exactly how to go long run so I might watch see what he's doing probably gave me a good idea of where to, what I want to be doing but my guess is probably want to take the low low side something like this maybe get it yawed out Maybe that's not so bad. Don't follow me to run. Don't let me down. <laughs> JP. Well, uh, not sure if that's going to happen, but I appreciate his confidence. That's the end of the session. P5. Just make sure to overtake when my tires die, because I'm not entirely confident I'm going to be able to save them long run. But, you know, I'll try. Um, 
We'll give it our best. Ended up P5. Hopefully it'll be a clean one. Lots of room out here at Auto Club. At least for now, until we turn it into a short track. Then there's not going to be much room at all. <laughs> but it's a, for now, it's a two-mile track, and you got about six lanes to work with. I think I'll do all time, just off the start, just to kind of judge my pace, and then start doing session last lap. I feel like... Hmm. I don't know, passing might be really difficult later, or it might be not so difficult. It's I'm not sure what it's going to be like yet, because it seems like you can kind of run the high side, you can also run the low line as well. But the thing is, but the thing is, like, oh yeah, Justin's doing the same thing as me. Okay, so we found out the same thing. High line one and two, low line three and four. I didn't really stick it very well, low side, three and four, though. But it might be pass harder to pass later because you can have guys run the high side lane and get a run off and cross you over, and then you just do a back and forth for a thousand years. So that could be bit tough. So, looks like a second gear start. Did I get all this ready? No, I did not. So we're going to get this ready. I hope I don't have to use it. But uh, in case we need the fast repair, we'll get that done quickly. And uh, I'm nervous. My last couple of races just on my own time. I kind of stunk. I've been driving like garbage lately, so I'm hoping I can actually be competent. Or this time around. I would like to get back on track, so. I'm Justin here from the pole. Alright. And we're off. Not my greatest launch. Very aggressive lock, kind of. Ooh, that Jasper card getting kind of loose. Good, though. Trying to get this thing rotated. Alright. I'm so nervous for some reason. I'm really nervous for this race, more than I usually am. Get to the inside of this guy. Will we get a run, though? Clear him. He's going to cross me over. This is what I was talking about. Gonna waste our tires racing us. Instead of just letting it happen. He could easily just file in behind us this room right now. Still there. You're in fourth position. 
Okay, finally clear. I think we're good now. I know I used a bunch of tire to do that though, which really stinks. Why Larry went higher that time? Stay low. There was a car on the high side. I'm not going to get around him, obviously. It's running higher. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I don't really necessarily want to be doing this. Wait for clear. <laughs> Have to divert course right there because he was really slow on that low side. Already lots of action here. Through five. Sent on the inside. It's not gonna be able to do anything with that though. Keep high. Clear. Clear. Aaron might have gotten the apron a little bit there, just a tiny bit. It was it looked like he kinda got unsettled for just a brief moment, but maybe not. Outside. Keep low. Stay low. There was a car on the high side. That was a little scary. I feel you. Keep an eye out up down there. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. G3. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. This is intense. Not very much room to work with here. Still inside. Just kind of strategically using that high line when I need to. He's probably gonna clear me, yeah. Clear inside. That's fine. Third place is good. Very happy with this so far. Top times are pretty consistent. Car feels okay for now. About third of the way through the race. Happy about that. Probably overdriving it, but we'll see. These races aren't all that long, of of course, so. Got a little bit room behind, that's 
very comfortable considering how close the racing was off the start of this one. Nice to have that. Missed my mark a little bit there, that's okay. There we go into the apron. Getting as much as he can. Alright, I'm gonna get session last lap up. Gotta be careful though, because this thing does bounce all around a little bit on the back stretch here. It's pretty bumpy. Just trying to get some green. Justin hasn't pulled away by any means. We're still right here within half a second. Somebody start wrecking? What are we doing? This is arc. <laughs> Larry going for the high line. It's going to be faster. But will it, uh, will his car be happy by the end of it? I don't know if he does it too much. I think uh, my best shot is if these guys start battling. So I welcome that idea. I'm doing pretty darn good for the 11 car though, huh? <laughs> P3 right now? I mean, smash cut to me uh, falling off horribly on tires later on and finishing 11th where I'm supposed to, but for now I'm feeling pretty good. You got the 1 and 2 battling for the lead as uh, is scripted, but then you got this weirdo 11 back here where he doesn't belong. <laughs> Now we've got a little bit of room in front of and behind us for now. Larry maybe overdrove that a little bit. It looked like he was a little higher up. Maybe he's using that seam to get some rotation. I thought about that. I kind of considered that during practice. I wasn't so sure it was working very well for me though. Actually going to use a tiny bit of brake right there. I don't know if that was good or not, but it is starting to feel a little tight, and this is probably where I'm going to start falling back eventually. We're halfway home. Fuel looks okay. That last lap was at 42.2. Oh, hmm. yeah, I'm falling off. I can tell. Unfortunate. Don't think the brake is any necessary. It seems like I get enough rotation just lifting off the throttle completely. Get that weight transfer kind of thing going on. It's a little bit loose on exit. Man, they're pulling away now, though. Just trying to be patient on throttle, not overdoing it. Larry's got a huge run right here. Is he going to be able to get alongside him? Oh. Looks like it. They're going to be alongside, heading into the corner here. I'm going to continue trying to uh, save tires best I can. I'm not doing a very good job of it, but I'm going to keep trying.
Mm. Yeah, that was not a very good corner at all. Seven's probably going to come past us pretty soon. Might try to run high line, see if I can hold them off at all. Just see what we've got up there. Gonna do it this corner. Inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Not much grip up there. Still there, inside. You're not clear. You don't like all right racing, I think. Okay, just hit the wall. That's fine, you idiot. <sighs> no grip. God, I'm a freaking Merlino. Told you I've been driving like trash lately. Should I just let him go? Back to 11th where I belong. <sighs> Should have known better that I was actually driving okay. Car is super tight now. P overtaking, like I told him he would. Eighth place, still not so bad. Sure, what JP did there? He might have gotten the wall. All right, gotta keep looking. Make sure I'm in the right spot. It's like uh, there's gonna be no passing on the low side anymore. Definitely gonna need to be on the high side if you want to do a pass. Or high side. Yeah. Use the brake now because it's so tight. I think I just have to run the high line now. There's no low line left. We're gonna lose more spots. Big four tire slide for JP up there. Yeah, it's all high line all the time now. So we're going to be coming to five to go. We'll see if we can get anything else, but I'm definitely uh, on the wrong side of history here when it comes to tire saving. 
I am uh, on the... My momentum sh shifted the other way, we'll just say, say it that way. Really, I'm just trying to stop the bleeding at this point. Maybe try to get that seam a little right up here. See if that helps me get some turn. Come on, Colton. Push, push, push. push. Something happened to Lewandowski, I think. He's a little off pace up there. Good consistency. Keep him coming. The lock time was 42.7. I really don't think it's going to be possible to make uh, a pass down low. Even if you slide job, they're just going to get momentum off the corner. So I think the thing to do would be take advantage of people that do try. Or get to the inside of Lewandowski somehow. Uh, it's weird. Not sure what happened. I don't want to be to his inside. So I think he's going to be in a bad spot now. I think by letting him go, I'm actually going to get around him in the long run. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Stay high if there's a car on the low side. P8. Clear. Inside. Oh, we got lots Stay of movement in front of us. On the low side. Two left to go. Two to go. Two to go. Well, there's not much grip left in these tires, that's for sure. Clear. We clear. Lewandowski. Someone's in the wall. It's that Jasper car from earlier. Clear inside. White flag. One more left to go. Car outside. Clear outside. V6. White flag. Be on the inside here. Inside. Oh my god, he's really slow into the corner. Almost ran into JP. Keep high. Still there. Clear inside. Inside. Surprised he didn't close that off. I'm glad he didn't. Clear. Car inside. You're up top three wide. Top three Still wide. Okay. <laughs> Can't lift Still here. Still there. Inside. Two wide. Still there. Oh my gosh. Where did we finish? That's the end of the race. I get rid of it. Oh, All right, is that P6? All right. Yeah, nice right, guys. Hold it back a little well. bit after. Jordan, did you get some trouble in that last lap, or what happened there? Ooh. <laughs> I saw you dive in there. I'm like, all right, if you can make it sick, I'm gonna let you make it sick. All right, that's kind of my hope. Almost worked. Yeah, I've been, I've been garbage lately, so at least, uh, at least I pulled that together. Larry got the win. He actually got around just then. Dang, I drove it in, slammed in the brake. Whew. Yeah, I was yeah, half a pin slower, slower than the, the previous 61, lap. 78. Yeah, just a joke. I suck. <laughs> let me let everyone know how much I, I suck. I got the wall twice. I think I kind of got to Larry and Justin. I'm like a full, like, almost 10 less than a lot of people. Just terrible. 
Oh well. Um, in the end, the result was not terrible. I still got six as the eleventh car. I'm just, I feel like I could have done so much better, so that's why I'm disappointed in myself, but um, in such a strong field, that's definitely not bad at all, so. I'll take it for sure. And uh, we'll see what happened out here. Can't remember the last time I was in a race with Larry and he lost. He didn't lose, though. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Um, so we just had some blinking there. A little bit of slide in the end of the wall for the 21. Ooh. Oh, that was kind of strange. What was that? Was the 15 being over aggressive or something? And the guy didn't like it. The 15 has been known to be aggressive before. I see him in the... 87 legends a lot. Yeah, he's just running into the back of the guy. So that's not surprising. I don't know if it really warranted this. I mean, he's also being a big jerk and like forcing him up the track on entry way too much. So I can see where the frustration was for the 18. But again, I don't know if it warranted that reaction. And then lap 27, all the way to lap 27 here. That's uh, the 7 getting in the wall in Glen. Worked the last week at uh, <laughs> Bristol Dirt. It doesn't work so much here. We lost a ton of momentum, a lot of speed from doing that. Scott gets in the wall a bit. Shane back here. What on earth? <laughs> frustrated, I guess, because of a... Uh, just wasn't happy with his result. At first I thought I was like, man, he's really getting loose on that... <laughs> on that transition from the apron. I'm like, no, wait, he's just maybe frustrated. <laughs> he had uh, no one anywhere close to behind him, so... He wasn't risking uh, anyone having trouble. He certainly didn't mind giving himself a 2x, though. In fact, that was the only incidence in the race, was him purposely spinning himself out afterward. So otherwise it would have been a completely incident free race. So that uh that is that. So you certainly get some highly competitive, generally clean racing in the top split here. That's why it's a lot of fun. And uh just miss out on the top five. Had a pretty close finish at the end there with a couple of guys. JP gets around me like I told him he would when my tires fell off. It stinks that I know that, this, that it's going to happen, and yet I still can't prevent it from happening. I just, I gotta get better. Um, I'll probably do more of this on my own time this week, try to learn what it takes to save tires better. But, is what it is. We will take a P6, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Lots of action, for sure. Um, and uh, being able to finish in front of fast guys out here. I mean, everybody from Shane, Scott, I mean, like tons of these guys I've raced against a bunch. Lewandowski, to finish ahead of guys like that is always an accomplishment. So I will take it. All right. I will see you next time. And uh, I hope you have a good one. See ya.